Hi, uh, today I just want to show you how to download the Swift Key uh, keyboard for the the iPad. Uh, this is new for uh, the iPad that is running iOS 8.0. It has been just launched uh, today. Today is uh, the 17 in the US, the 18. In in Asia or Australia uh, first thing first uh, I want to show you that uh, if you go to the App Store uh, SwiftKey has not show up yet it's if you search SwiftKey and it's going to show up SwiftKey note and if you change that's iPad or iPhone still not there that's not the the app that we want to download so what should we do we just it turns out that uh, we just need to go to the swift key website that is the swiftkey.com and we go there and it's still not there just go keyboard and it's going to show up iPhone and iPad and just click there let's see now it's showing a uh, swift key keyboard for iPhone and iPad get it now uh, I think you just click here and then there's a banner there to download on the App Store. If you click there, and there you go, Swift Key Keyboard. You just download from there. I just downloaded it already, and that's what you need to do. Then, after that, you just go to there's some setting you need to do. Go to Swift Key, and there's Swift Key Cloud. You can log in uh, using your Facebook or Google Plus account. Uh, it's going to learn all your um, writings from the uh, Facebook or Google Plus. It's saying there safely backup words and phrases swift key learns let swift key learn your your writing style from gmail and facebook blah 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 and there is another part that you need to set up here there is the english us it's on and you can download other languages this is the one of the most disappointing parts that uh it's only like uh, handful of other languages it's not like in Android Android has more languages than just uh, Swift key on iPad here is showing uh, German English for Australia blah 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 and Espanol and Italiano French Portuguese and that's all mm. It's very, very not so many languages here. And I think in Android there are like what 30 something languages. Uh, I hope they're going to add some more languages here. Uh, I think this is disappointing for people who are bilingual or multilingual. And go to the setting here. You can change the, the theme to dark or white color. It's called uh, nickel light or nickel dark. Um, that's also probably very little choice compared to, again, Android. Uh, and see, go to advanced and you just turn on the auto correct quick period auto capitalize I think this the auto correct that 
you are looking for after you setting that thing you still need to go to settings and you go to general and you go to where is that looking for keyboard there you go go to keyboard and you go to keyboard there and you need to add new keyboard here and you choose the swift key keyboard here and since I added it up already it's showing up here swift key with mute I mean multiple language languages this is the most important part you need to allow full access otherwise it's not going to predict your uh, typing so let's the I think that's all for the setting part and and next we try how to use the swift key I open a an app here to write a note let's, let's see okay and there you go um, where's the swift key it's still not there oh okay just need to change the keyboard let's see still not that that's Chinese and still Chinese still Chinese that's Indonesian and that's a emoji Let's see oh what did I do okay another one is okay it's showing up here that says Swift key that's the one that you're looking for okay let's see how good the keyboard is so there there's a new thing for iPad or iPhone if you install this to the iPhone see it's going to predict the only thing I can do see another disappointing thing about this new shift key keyboard on the iPad is that there is no flow for prediction if you use that before on Android you can do like like a flow and it's going to predict your typing it doesn't happen on iPad I saw from the, the other side on the websites that actually it will show up on the iPhones not on the iPad that's another thing that is I think very disappointing and for now I don't think there is any reason to use Swift key at all if you are just using English because the new uh, iOS 8 actually they got a the new auto correction and it is acting completely just like the new Swift key I'll show you here general you just need to make to make sure the keyboard change the keyboard to this one uh, not that uh, what is that uh, English English mm, maybe not that I think oh go to the keyboards go there you just need to turn on the, the auto correction and actually the new built-in iPad keyboard has the auto correction just like the the Swiss key keyboard so see the only thing I see so what's the point the iPad itself has the built-in auto-correct 
anyway right now so much better than the, the auto correct in the old days of uh, iPad I don't know uh, I'm hoping probably uh, they will add a uh, flow and new languages on the Swift key for the iPad uh, for now I'm very disappointed because I thought it would be full feature like the Android uh, Swift key okay okay that's all I think for now you can try download your Swift key and tell me if you like it for me for now uh, I'm probably going to delete and just use the built-in keyboard it's the same thing I think there is no edit value if there is no other I mean there's no language that I the second language that I can use I don't speak German I don't speak the, those languages that are listed there uh, thank you very much I'll probably review the iOS 8 later on thank you bye bye